I suppose that anybody could master a record if they have like a month to do it, you know, and they sort of, you know, you work on it and then you play it in your car and think about it for a week and then do something else. And stuff. But that's not how these things happen. You just have basically a few hours to work on it and that's it. Um, so it's not like there's a lot of really, you're just relying on experience. Um, and a lot of the big records are like that. There's no time, you know, they've used up all the time right. doing all the other stuff. And there's no time left <clears throat> for the mastering. You just have to do it. Um, do the best you can. There's really not much time to think about it or particularly listen to it or anything. It's just kind of <laughs> done. And that's kind of how that is. You know, everybody's in a mad rush to get it finished. Because the marketing department has made unrealistic promises about when it's going to be released and all that. Um, so yeah, that, that well, that's one thing. And then you, you well, there's other kinds of records that are not like that. But generally, it's it's the I'd say the big records that you work on. There's not very much time to think about it at all. You just get in there, do the work, and and move yeah. on. <laughs> 